Are you at the stage in your cloud journey where you need to budget for a specific Azure service or looking to optimize costs in your environments? In this episode of the Azure Enablement Show, we will cover what you need to calculate cost and optimize your cloud spend. Welcome back to the Azure Enablement Show. My name is Thomas, and I'm joined today by Kyle from Azure Marketing and Ryan, a cloud solution architect here at Microsoft. This is the second episode in a series on Azure pricing. If you have not watched episode one, I recommend going back to that one first so you understand how Azure pricing works and how to accurately estimate building your next Azure project. You can find a link to that episode in the description below. While you're there, click the like button and subscribe to the Azure Enablement Show so you don't miss future episodes. If you have questions about today's topic, be sure to leave a comment below and we will come back to you. In this episode, we're going to look at how you can budget for specific Azure services by using tools like the pricing calculator and how to optimize your cloud spend on Azure workloads. Now, Kyle, in the last episode, we were following our example company, Contoso, as they learned about how Azure pricing worked and how to estimate project costs in Azure. Where will Contoso's cloud journey take us today? Thanks, Thomas. The next step in Contoso's pricing journey would be to budget for these specific Azure services. Since they know that they want to move their AI-powered product recommendation tool to Azure, they're going to, need to they're going to need to know how much to budget for those, for those specific Azure services that's going to run this tool. So, how does Contoso calculate costs for specific Azure services when they start their project? First, I want to answer a few questions like how much will it cost to run these specific series and what size VMs do they need for this project? They should also take into consideration what region do you want to deploy these services in? And finally, you know, what are some ways they can save on these specific resources when they start to spin them up? The Azure pricing calculator can be used to estimate monthly costs for using any combination of Azure products and services while taking into consideration offers like reservations, Azure savings plans for compute, and Azure hybrid benefit. Yeah, the Azure pricing calculator sounds like a great tool. So Ryan, can you um, show us a quick demo uh, of the Azure pricing calculator and how customers can use it to calculate costs for their Azure services? Sure, Thomas, let me show you what you can expect with the Azure calculator. So first of all, the tool can be found at azure.com forward slash calculator in your browser. Once you arrive at the calculator, you can see we have all of the catalog of our Microsoft Azure services, right? Everything that's out there in our marketplace is available in the calculator. You can browse through and find the different services that are gonna comprise the solution that you're building. You can select them here in the menu. And once you scroll down, you'll see those resources here and all the options that pertain to them. So for example, you can see the region that you're deploying into, the operating system of the virtual machine in this case. You can see the instance size, right? The number of resources, cores, memory, storage, and so on for the various different types of resources. We can choose how many of that resource that we need and the number of hours that it's going to run in this case. And we also see all of our savings options. So things like our Azure Savings Plan for Compute or Reserved Instances, which can provide large discounts on the run cost of these various different resources. We also have the option to see the pricing for Azure Hybrid Benefit for those instances where you've already made investments in licensing and you want to translate those into Azure. So you can see as we switch from a standard pay-as-you-go plan at 78 cents an hour for the machine, if we switch to a savings plan, right, that cost can be reduced significantly. We can also choose our other resources like databases or disks or storage or networking resources. And at the bottom, once we scroll down, we can see our total for what that solution is gonna cost us. And you can take that uh, export into Excel format if you wanna incorporate that into your other planning documents and your resources for building the solution. Thanks, Ryan, for this, this great demo. Yeah, the, the Azure Pricing Calculator is a great tool when it comes to knowing what you need to budget for your Azure services. And it really takes a lot of different parameters into account, right? You showed the Azure Hybrid Benefit and many other things uh, you can do. So absolutely love it. So Kyle, um, jumping forward a little bit, after Contoso has successfully deployed uh, their AI-powered product recommendation tool in Azure, um, it doesn't stop there, right? 
Correct. Yeah. Next, they would want to be reviewing and optimizing their Azure workloads. Now, they might be asking themselves, you know, what tools are available to help me optimize our current spend? What Azure offers can I take advantage of to save on these costs? So those all seem to be like good questions to ask from time to time when you want to optimize your cloud spend. Exactly. When it comes to cost optimization, it's a continuous process and should be considered pre and post deployment. You just don't want to deploy and never analyze where you can improve your investment. So Contoso can leverage different uh, resources for guidance, such as uh, Azure FinOps, optimization, and the Azure Advisor tool to help identify these cost savings opportunities. Awesome. Thanks, Kyle. So Ryan, um, coming back to you, can you give us a quick look at Azure Advisor and how it can help us with optimizing cost savings? Sure, Thomas. So Azure Advisor is our tool in the Azure portal for giving you actionable recommendations around various different aspects of your workloads, like cost management, operational excellence, security, and more. So you can find the tool inside of the Azure portal. If you search up at the top in the universal search, look for Advisor. Once you're in the Advisor screen, you can see we've got the recommendations broken out into various different sections for cost, security, reliability, operational excellence, performance, and so on. And we can drill into these recommendations to see specific recommendations against the resources that we have actually deployed. So you can see here as an example, I've got recommendations to use reserved instances to reduce my virtual machine costs, uh, and also to eliminate resources that aren't provi providing any value right now. So we have disks that aren't attached to a VM. Those are uh, incurring a cost to us right now that isn't actually giving us anything. So these are going to be actionable recommendations that you can use to optimize your Azure spend. We can also see recommendations for things like security, right? Securing our resources, uh, turning off uh, vulnerable uh, public IP addresses and things of that nature. We can see recommendations for reliability, uh, for high availability, right? Making sure that our services are secure and resilient and highly available. And all of these recommendations are something that you want to continuously evaluate, right? This isn't something that you would use one time. You're gonna continuously return to these recommendations as you're deploying and managing your resources on an ongoing basis so that you get good recommendations going forward. Awesome. Yeah, Azure Advisor really is a fantastic tool and I definitely should look at it from time to time to actually optimize your Azure environment. So Kyle and Ryan, thank you for talking about Azure pricing and showing us the pricing calculator and the Azure Advisor. Until next time, thanks for watching the Azure Enablement Show.